Welcome back, fuckers. All right, today we're going to run through uh, how to slew your senses. Okay, so you, your center of interest, how to slew it, and then turn that slew position or slewing to a position and then making a sensor point of interest. So then you can slew other sensors to the same point. All right, so the buttons you're going to need real quick, we're going to go through right now, adjust control. So we're going to need, uh, what is it? Potas slew up, down, left, right. If you don't have a spare hat to use for your uh, your slewing, so generally if you don't have the warthog uh, thrustmaster, warthog throttle, and you fly other aircraft, whatever you use for your radar, for your TDC and stuff to slew the radar around, um, just sign up to the same thing. But if you do have the thrustmaster, warthog, hotas, go into access commands, and you want to assign. We'll make sure that these are assigned. Hotas slew horizontal, hotas slew vertical. And if you do have it, uh, I've put a little curve on mine. So dead zone three, saturation X 100, saturation Y 30, and curvature of 30. I've done that on both axes and just makes it a little less uh, sensitive. So when you're trying to get some precise um, slewing right onto a target, it's um, not as touchy. So that is what you need there. You're also going to have. Uh, let's go back to all. You're going to need HOTAS TMS forward. Now, I keep calling it HOTAS TMS up, but up forward. Um, if I say up, I mean forward, uh, just in advance because it's just a habit. Okay, HOTAS TMS forward, and you're going to need China hat aft and China hat forward. Okay, is what we're going to use for, as well as coolie hat left, right, up. Okay. So let's crack on and get into this. So we're going to start off, we're going to make our HUD as soy by pressing coolie hat up short. All right, and you can see we put the asterisk there. We're, not, we're in um, active pause, that's why we're not moving anywhere, just so we can kind of go through this. All right, so now that we've got our HUD as soy, if you notice, if I get rid of that, in your velocity vector, okay, there's a little box will appear when I go TMS up, uh, sorry, coolie hat up short. There's a box that appears there. Okay, now you're gonna use that HOTAS slew command that we just went through, and you're gonna move this TDC square down. Okay, target designation or something, whatever it stands for. So it's TDC on the HUD is what it's called. Um, we're just gonna put it on that there little, uh, the stadium just down there. Okay, so now we've got our area that we're interested in designated with the, the HUD, we're going to press TMS forward long. And when we do that, it's going to make that now our center point of interest. And you can tell it's a center point of interest because it puts a long tadpole off of the, uh, the point on the ground. And you can see down here, it says TDC, okay, as our speed. So TDC is the HUD, okay? So now, because I've made that a center point of interest, if we go to our TAD, you can see that we have got a speed marker right there. The white wedding cake is what we're after there. That white wedding cake is your speed, your sensor point of interest. So now, because I've done that, I can go ahead and make my uh, targeting pod, the peak pod, as soy by pressing coolie hat right long. And then I'm going to press China hat forward long, and that's going to slew my my, uh, my sensor of interest. It's going to slew my sensor of interest to the speed. So I'm going to press China hat forward long, press and hold, and there you go. It slewed our targeting pod to that spot that we just picked out with the HUD. Pretty cool, hey? All right. So now let's uh, let's do another one. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to make our J Hammix, soy. So we're going to press TM, uh, coolie hat up short twice to get the asterisk on the J Hammix. And we're going to pick out, let's pick out a tree. Okay, so I'm using the same Hotas slew. Pick that tree out. Once I'm happy with the spot, we're going to go TMS up or TMS forward long. And you can see our Hotas or our targeting pod is automatically slewed to that speed point, all right, and if we just 
for some reason our targeting pod wasn't if it was just bore sided again you press cool hat right long select your targeting pod and then press china hat forward long and it will slew your targeting point to the speed that you just found with your j hammocks okay next one we're going to go through how to mark a point with your targeting pod okay so we make the targeting pod as soy get the green box around it you can see the targeting pod is looking where it is looking on the hud there by the diamond and then we're just going to slew this down and we'll pick out a building with some description at the uh the airfield here so now we can zoom in a bit and again i'll go through zooming in and zooming out on the targeting pod to go through a little bit more in depth in a bit so i'm happy with that now i'm going to press tms forward long and you can confirm that we have got the tgp is our speed we've also got the tadpole saying that that is our speed so if i was to select my mavericks now okay maverick seeker head is there make the maverick as soy i'm going to press china hat forward long to slew my seeker of my, my center of interest to the speed point so china hat forward long maverick slews down and is looking at the same thing that our targeting pod is all right if i want to reset my maverick to bore site you press china hat aft short and reset it um you used to be able to do that on the targeting pod but since they've bought the a10c2 out china hat aft short goes into laser search now so to only, only way to reset the the uh the bore site of the targeting pod at the moment is to turn it off into standby and then go to air to ground and then recenter the bore site on the patch that's coming there's going to be another button i can't remember what it's called but there'll be a button on the actual um the display for your tdc to rebore site and you won't have to turn it off and on again okay so that is coming but at, right now as it stands you've got to go to standby and back to air to ground to rebore so recenter your, your uh your tidying pod back to bore site same on the hud if i want to reset my tdc from the hud i press china hat aft short resets it and then same on our J hammocks if i want to reset my point that i've looked at on the ground china hat aft short and i get the box around and i can go again and lastly but not least we can do the exact same thing with the maverick so if you didn't have a um a targeting pod for whatever reason but you had a maverick and you wanted to mark a point on the ground and share your speed with another a10 buddy which you can do we can slew the maverick down make the maverick as soy slew the maverick down and we're just going to pick a spot with the uh the seeker head all right it's locked onto that so we're going to now press tms forward long and you can see it says maverick and we've got the speed line coming off of our maverick and if we wanted to we could slew our targeting pod off of the maverick china hat forward long and now our targeting pod is looking where the maverick is designated the speed and then finally uh, one more one more okay we've got our tat tactical air display so if you want to grab a speed so if you've got your speed on broadcast okay which you do by pressing tms left long and hold speed on other a10s can see your speed and they can grab it um so you just make your tad soy scroll down we're going to grab this waypoint here so i'm going to press tms up tms forward short to hook it and then we're going to press tms forward long to make it speed and then we've automatically made our steer point our speed as well and again if you want to get rid of that little uh the hook line you just make sure you have got the tad as soy and press tms off and it will unhook so you won't have like a line a yellow line on your jhammocks if that bothers you and that is it lastly though fuck, there's been so many lastlys okay let's go back to let's make our part of soy let's reselect this all right we're gonna go tms forward along slew that all right so say i want to make my initial position which is behind me i want to make that 
my spear again, but I can't be asked to go into the tad and grab it with the hook function. All right, all you do with your uh, HUD as soy, you just press TMS aft, sh aft long, and it will reset your speed back to your steer point. Okay, so if you've punched in a waypoint, for example, of like, all right, I've got a target area, I've got a waypoint of where all these tanks and stuff are. Um, you've been looking around with the targeting pod and then you've kind of gotten lost a bit and you don't know where, which way is which. You can recenter your targeting pod back to the initial waypoint by pressing, making the HUD soy, and then pressing TMS aft long, and it will recenter back to your steer point. Alrighty guys, that was a fucking handful and a mouthful and a half, but hopefully that made some sense. Practice the um, practice finding things with your different sensors. And then once you've found target or something that you want to look at a little bit more with the targeting pod or whatever, don't forget to press TMS forward long to make it a SPI because the biggest thing that people do that, and I am 100% guilty of this as well, Okay, so just say we are cruising along. We're in the, zoom out. So we're cruising along and I'm looking here and I found myself a lovely juicy fuel tanker. Okay, that guy right there. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm gonna blow that guy out with a Maverick. So I'm like, yep, sweet. I've got my targeting pod as soy. Right, targeting pod is soy. I'm gonna go over to here. I'm gonna select Mavericks. Okay, and let's recenter that. Okay, so this is what it'll be like. You found a target. Got your Maverick ready to go. You got your secret. Maverick is on soy, but you forgot to assign your targeting pod as speed. You forgot to make that the speed. As you can see here, it says steer point. So when I press China hat forward long, it's gonna, instead of slowing my Maverick down to where I want it to go, which is where my Titan Pod's looking, it's gonna slew it over here because my speed is still on the steer point. All right, so you gotta make sure if you want to attack a ground target, you need to designate it with the speed. Okay, so for me to slew the Maverick, if I press China hat forward long now, my Maverick is slewing and trying to find over there. That's where my Maverick's trying to look. Okay, it can't because it's in gimbal limits. You're gonna press China hat aft short to re sight the Maverick. It'll come back. And, oh, you bastard. Now my uh, targeting pod's going ahead and slewed over there as well. So this is the, uh, the drama you get in. Okay, so let's zoom back out back down there so you can see the shit fight if you're running and about to take a maverick out and then this stuff happens you know that's you've just totally ruined your run to deploy a maverick or employ a maverick you've flown too close to enemy air defenses and you're probably taking some ground fire or cop the missile by now and you're probably dead and you're like why didn't it work it's because you didn't make what you wanted a speed so once you find a target with a targeting pod tms forward long Make it the speed. Make sure you've got the little tadpole on your targeting pod. It should say TGP in the HUD. Come across, grab your Maverick, coolly left long, China hat forward long, and then your Maverick is looking at said target and you can rifle on that guy. Okay, don't fall in the trap of forgetting which sensor is speed. Okay, what you've where your speed is because that's where all your stuff is going to slew to when you press China hat forward long. Holy crap, all right. That is it, I'm done. Okay, my brain is hurting now. I hope that made sense. I'm trying to make it as pain-free and uh, less confusing as possible. If it did make sense, please hit the like button uh, to let me know that you did like it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, we're gonna keep ch chipping away getting through these A10 systems because it's pretty confusing to start once you kind of get your head around it it's not too bad uh and lastly but not least i do stream on twitch monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time so come in say good day and ask any questions you may have live on stream we'll do our best to answer them all right guys hope that helped catch you on the next one